Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game, except I pull in more sluts, more butts, more bucks, never giving. Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, we have a pretty amazing group of UFO sightings that I want to feature today. The first of which was just posted to the YouTube channel called Elisa EZ. And the original video, uh, which is titled in Spanish, translated reads, Spectacular spherical UFO is divided into several formations and realized in the sky over Colima, Mexico. And uh, what this woman has captured here is nothing short of amazing. It truly is. So I'm going to let you guys watch it. It's originally a 12-minute video. So I'm not going to play you the whole thing. I'm just going to play you the best parts and really the most amazing part of this footage, which I'll just go ahead and let you guys check out for yourselves. Esta es como una estrella, como un planeta. No se ha movido de su lugar. Ahora son muchos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. All right, so amazing stuff. And as I said earlier, this was captured over Colima, Mexico. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, that's because we've posted many videos in the past featuring UFOs that have been captured above the volcano in Colima. A lot of mysterious activity happening out there in this region of Mexico. And what we have here is something I really can't explain. The footage starts out just following what appears to be a white, reflective, or glowing orb that is steadily moving through the sky. Uh, we get multiple shots, uh, multiple zoom levels, and from, you know, the original point of view we have, it could be anything. could be a balloon. Uh, I mean, it could be anything. And on the face of it, it's nothing too spectacular. But when we see this thing divide, or... You know, it almost looks as if it releases an entire group of secondary objects that then move into formations, these triangular formations. 
Well, that really made my jaw drop, and I honestly cannot explain this. Uh, for me, it certainly debunks the notion that this is a balloon, a drone, uh, an airliner, anything like that, because none of those things do what this object just did. Um, this also reminds me of another amazing video that we recently featured when we did the compilation of all the greatest UFO sightings of 2016. And uh, that was this piece of footage here where, again, we witnessed a glowing object dropping through the sky. And, of course, you'll know this piece of footage as the aliens guy. Those are aliens! Sorry, I'm trying to record it. Aliens! Oh, aliens! Oh, they uh, who screams how they're dividing and how y'all need to be calling damn news. Y'all need to be calling damn news! They come down to the goal, oh, they come to Earth! Yeah. Uh, where again, we see the same object split into multiple objects and sit in the sky. And that's what we're seeing here. Something that is dividing, or at least uh, breaking apart, uh, sending other objects out. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's obvious that this is all one object at least it would appear that way or could this have been a formation of objects all moving in such a tight formation that it just looked like one single glowing object i have no idea and that's why this piece of footage was so amazing to me and uh, a viewer sent this over it was just posted yesterday and um yeah i wanted to feature it you can head over, and I want you to head over to Elisa's YouTube channel, watch the full video, and subscribe, because she has what appears to be hundreds more videos of strange UFOs caught in the skies over Mexico, and uh, she definitely seems to be onto something here. Uh, so next, we have some more strange UFO sightings. Uh, one particular sighting that features the exact same objects seen moving through the skies on separate parts of the world. The first one captured in Stockholm, Sweden, so check this out. What the fuck is this, man? Is this all right so on the face of it again may not seem like much we have some more of these glowing objects moving through the sky some of you may say that these are chinese lanterns uh, but it's been pointed out that these things were moving way too fast to have been chinese lanterns at times picking up speed not to mention the fact that they are all flying one after the other in sort of a straight line formation. And when I saw this piece of footage, I said, well, maybe I'll share it. Maybe I'll save it. But then I got a second piece of footage, this time from San Antonio, Texas, that featured a UFO sighting that I can only say is identical in every way to what we just saw over Sweden. So check out this video from Texas. Now, as you saw here, uh, again, I mean, it looks nearly identical to what was just captured over Sweden, 
Another formation of objects flying one in front of the other, same size, same speed, same color, and while much further, what we see also in the San Antonio footage here is that at one point the objects come together and form a triangle formation. So, you know, definitely something that your normal balloons and stuff like that, they, they simply do not do. I was amazed by the similarities between these two pieces of video captured thousands of miles apart, one in Sweden, one in Texas, showing the same lights moving one by one in a straight line formation, at times creating triangular formations, but definitely identical in my opinion. And I'm playing both videos side by side here. Uh, just so we can see both of them, you can see that they are pretty much identical. And uh, that, that is what intrigued me. Because when you have uh, multiple pieces of video that can corroborate a, a strange sighting, and that tells you maybe this is something not as natural as we first thought, well, that's the point of this channel. Gathering evidence, connecting the puzzle pieces, and uh, I would say that something strange is happening across the world. We've been seeing these formations all over the world, these strange lights. Uh, sometimes they're in pairs, sometimes they're in formations of many. Sometimes they start off as one object and then break up into nine or ten. Other times they form triangles or rectangles. With everything I've seen and that I continue to see every year that goes by, you cannot convince me otherwise that something strange is going on in our skies. So, big thanks to the sources from Texas as well as Sweden. Before we end today's video, we're going to end today's video on a light note, alright? I received an email from a fan of the channel, and before I show you the video he sent, I'll go ahead and read you his email here. So the subject of the email was, Important Must See. It says, Hey Tyler, I apologize for the crappy quality of the video, but this footage comes all the way from Canada and I hope that this video makes it to the channel as I think that a lot of people need to see this. In the video, I begin to play one of your videos and for some reason this happens every time, but a strange object always seems to enter the area and hover over your videos. I've tried multiple times to catch this phenomena on camera but was unsuccessful. Well, today I got lucky. This object in question, I'm guessing, is not even two years old. And I'm gonna be honest and say that whatever this object is, I'm pretty sure it's a fan of your videos. So take a look at this video and let me know what you think. Is that Tyler talking about aliens? This is your youngest fan. This kid will not leave my lap. He will literally watch all day. And he has his own opinions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Well, all I, I, I swear, this video gives me the biggest smile. And that's what I told the viewer when I emailed him back. This is just an awesome clip. And it would appear that I'm now corrupting two-year-olds. Um, but you know what? It's an honor. It's an honor that I've, you know, got fans who watch my channel. It's an awesome thing to see this little kid run over when my video plays. I'll tell you what makes him run over. It's that intro music. And you guys know what I'm talking about. There's no intro music out there that is as fire as the intro music featured on Secure Team. So I can imagine that would, that would make a little kid want to run over and listen. And uh, that's why I use it. So big thanks 
to Mr. Nimby for sending this over. I really appreciate it. And you know what? This is the reason that I still enjoy operating this channel. And it's why this channel is a passion to me. You know, I just want to thank all of my fans who have been with me since the beginning. Uh, as the channel has grown, we've been getting a lot more haters and a lot more people who would seem to be trying to keep me from getting the truth out here. Uh, but um, nothing's going to stop this train. We're going to keep on moving, and uh, I'm glad you guys are all here with me to do that. So big thanks to the viewer who sent this footage in and to everyone who submitted their footage today. If you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Check back regularly to the channel because, as I hear, many of you are not even getting notified when I post a new video. Go figure. So, just always remember to check back at the channel if you haven't gotten a notification in a while. I usually put up a new video every day, so I uh, hope to see you all back here soon. Thank you guys for stopping by today, and uh, have a great rest of your night.